What's on YouTube? It's Pete TT coming at you with another division video. And guys, today we are yet again talking about how to fix certain issues in game, okay? Now, we are all aware that Phoenix credits are pretty useless when you've maxed out your gear, okay? If you're running your challenge mode incursions and you're in the 201 gear score bracket dark zone, then Phoenix credits really aren't of much use to you. I mean, okay, you occasionally get something crop up in the base of operations that might be worth buying, but ultimately, the majority of us are sitting on the 2000 limit cap for carrying Phoenix credits and have nothing to spend them on. I have thought of three ideas on how Massive Kern kind of bring Phoenix credits back into being usable and a way to make people want to do the things that get the Phoenix credits for you, okay? Like a way, a, a, an idea of chasing after them because you actually really, really want them. Now, the first one I did actually cover in a previous video, kind of, in one of the future updates where I spoke about things as a community, I think we would like to see, you know, come out in future updates. I'm going to cover it a little bit more in today's video, okay? So, my first idea for using Phoenix credits, we're going to talk re rolling gear, okay? At the minute, you can get a piece of gear drop and you can re-roll one thing on it. So you can re-roll it from, say, firearms to stamina or electronics or vice versa. You might get armor on it that you don't want and you want to re-roll it for, say, health or skill power. Maybe you get ballistic shield in the skill attributes and you want to change that to pulse crit hit. Whatever it is, guys, you can only re-roll one thing at any one time on one piece of armor, okay? Now, this is kind of annoying because it's a loot-based game. And as much as it is really cool chasing after one piece of loot, it's a little bit like Destiny where you can redo the same thing again and again and again, do it a hundred times and never get it, where your friend can get it dropped like 50 times um, and it might not actually be tradable because it's, say, a boss drop or, you know, a mission reward drop. So they can't actually give it to you. So my way of thinking, okay, you keep your first re-roll on your armor as money that comes out of your normal wallet uh, you know your division funds and that is one re-roll every time you re-roll that same slot it takes out your wallet however i think what would be really cool is if you could re-roll more than one thing on your armor and to do this you would use phoenix credits okay so i've re-rolled i've got a backpack say and it has dropped on electronics and i want it on stamina I use my normal wallet, I re-roll it, I get it to stamina happy days. However, I also want that armour to have armour on it, and it has, say, health. It would cost me, you know, X amount of Phoenix credits, maybe 500 or 1,000 Phoenix credits, to unlock the ability to re-roll a second item on my armour, okay? When you've unlocked that ability, then it goes back to using your normal division funds. However, it would be much more expensive, Okay, so it would be like double the amount each time you re-rolled it on your second stat. And then maybe you could unlock a third re-roll for the 2,000 limit. You know, a big spend, 2,000 limit to unlock the third slot. And then again, it goes back to your division funds. This will not only increase the ability for agents to really fine-tune and build their characters around one set without waiting for certain items to drop you know you could say right okay i've re-rolled this gear i want to re-roll something else i'm going to go do my hvts i'm going to go do this that and everything else and farm some phoenix credits so i can unlock a different thing to roll this would be really cool for many many reasons like i say your, your ability to customize your character for one but it also sorts out the issue of gear drops and things like that we know the game has become very very generous in the way it gives us loot However, a lot of it is still very useless, okay? Still trying to find that one piece of armor that slightly improves my stats is like near impossible to come by. I had a set of gloves dropped the other day and they were nearly perfect, okay? But instead they were completely unusable because I couldn't decide what to re-roll. There was two things that needed to be re-rolled. My gloves dropped on stamina, I needed them on firearms because I couldn't roll any other armor out. But they also didn't have, it had pistol damage and LMG damage. So I also needed to re-roll like either marksman, assault rifle or SMG damage onto them as well to make them a viable option to my build. I couldn't re-roll both so I ended up selling them for, for money, okay? If I had a way of re-rolling more than one thing, that would be cool. And like I said, it would give meaning to the Phoenix credits again. So there's one idea. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the first idea of using Phoenix credits, guys. 
I, I love your feedback, as you know. Getting your opinion on this is really, really cool. Start up a bit of a discussion in the comment section would be amazing. But let's move on to the second idea, okay? A Phoenix Credits Currency Exchange. Now, obviously, as I've said about re-rolling gear, it costs an awful lot of money, okay? Now, if you're running hard mode, challenge modes, plenty of dark zone, and you're a bit of a kind of hardcore division fan where you play it every night, you probably aren't going to be short of normal division funds, okay? You can make, very easily make, a million funds a night. That will give you some good recalibration chances each night if you so choose but with each roll getting more expensive you need more money a lot of us are sitting on like i said 2000 phoenix credits that are very useless what if there was a way to change your phoenix credits into either dark zone funds or your normal division funds and the way i thought about this because phoenix credits are a lot harder to get than your normal dark zone funds now with sealed caches or selling gear sets and high ends that you extract from the dark zone and you get from challenge mode and hvts and things like that for your normal division wallet so if you could take say 200 phoenix credits and turn that into a hundred thousand dark zone funds or you take 200 phoenix credits and turn it into 100,000 normal division wallet that would be really really cool and again give us somewhere to actually use and spend our phoenix credits so they were useful to us as agents and our characters and our builds again okay Again, guys, let me know what you think of that idea in the comment section down below. Let's get a bit of a discussion going. Tell me what you guys think about it. Good idea? Bad idea? Maybe you guys have got some ideas on how we could use Phoenix credits and kind of utilise them again to make them a useful thing for the more, you know, daily players, the more veteran players of the game, the more hardcore players that are here all the time. My third and final idea, guys, on what to do with the Phoenix credit issue. Use Phoenix Credits to re-roll weapon talents. Now, we don't have the ability to re-roll weapon talents. And again, you can get a weapon drop that is kind of semi-good because it may have Brutal on it or it may have Determined on it or it may have Destructive. But ultimately, it doesn't have the three uh, God Roll talents that you wish. Now, some of you might say, yeah, but hang on a minute. Everyone's going to be running around with the likes of Brutal, Deadly, Predatory, things like that. Um... And that would kind of really unbalance the game. And I would say I disagree with that, guys, okay? There are a lot of weapon talents out there that are just as good as Brutal that maybe work for electronics. Determined is a very, very good skill to have, okay? Now, personally, I have low skill power. So Determined would be very good for me because it means every time I get a kill, you know, you your skill, I think it's like 9%, so every kill you get... You get a 9% cooldown on your skills or something like that. I can't remember the exact wording of it, okay? But that is a very good talent for me. However, it requires just over 2,000 electronics. I only have like 500. So if I get that in the permanently unlocked talent on a weapon, it means that weapon's really cool for me because it makes up for the lack of skill power. It helps me get myself heal and my pulse and things back quicker. However, I still want brutal and deadly on it or destructive to go through the enemy armors quicker. If I could use Phoenix Credits to re-roll Weapon Talents, I think that would also be an amazing idea and give us yet another way of customising our characters and fine-tuning them. Now, I wouldn't expect Weapon re-rolling to be cheap, so I would probably say something like a 1,000 Phoenix Credits per re-roll on a Weapon Talent would be fine. I'd be fine with that. I think that would be very fair. Phoenix Credits are on the hardest thing to get now, but you do still have to work for them. To go and farm a thousand of them wouldn't happen, you know, in, in a couple of hours. It would take you time to get them. So, it, I don't think it's too steep a price, especially now we can carry 2,000 of them. Again, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I would love to see Phoenix Credits being brought back in and used, you know. Pre-1.1, it was something that we all chased after and wanted. Even to an extent after 1.1, we still had a reason to want Phoenix credits and want to spend them. Now, I feel more, unless you are a new player into the game trying to gear up, Phoenix credits really just don't matter, okay? I'm sitting on a stash room and I can't remember the last thing I actually bought. Occasionally, I might there might be something in the base of operations come down that I want, um, but, you know, I've, I've got the weapons that I like. Unless that kind of god roll comes around, which I highly doubt, they're just going to sit there, I'll hit the 2000 cap, I'll probably never use them. So it'd be nice for them to come back into the game and have a meaning again. I've said it enough times through the video, guys. Let me know your comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you did indeed like the video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because there are plenty more Division videos coming your way. And as always, agents, thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, I will catch you all soon.